I'm just worried that this camera doesn't like it should still it should focus on our faces but it should it should but I spilled water down my top oh no I oh, know I'm half asleep still <laughs> I think I had like five hours last night if yeah if that if that uh-oh Hel hello hello <laughs> beauty new is this recording yeah 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 this Wait. feels like a live chat there we go Woo. now we're synced yeah uh welcome to beauty news this is I don't even know. It's going to be like the 9th. Right. Can we check the date? It's going up on a Friday. It's going to be the 9th. 9th. Oh, it is the 9th edition. Yep. So it is the 9th of June edition. We are currently in Japan. Mm -hmm. That's why everything looks different. And um, we sound so hazy. Yeah. <laughs> we, um, we went to karaoke last night. There was a lot of yelling. <laughs> right. there'll, be, there'll be some footage there'll in a vlog. Some, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so today, oh, no, ignore this. Oh, yeah. Just she, before we were filming, I'm like, I'll drink some water. <laughs> anyway, let's get to it because we have to yeah, we do. get the fuck Gotta out get of here. Going. So we're only talking about really interesting shit like Becca yes. re-releasing a, a limited edition champagne pop. What yeah. the fuck? So this is celebrating two years of the release of Champagne Pop, mm -hmm. and some people are like, like the it's essentially all it is. It's a shinier packaging, yeah, um, instead of that horrible brown, yes, um, and then it's got like a champagne bottle with bubbles. A lot of people are saying this looks like Physician's Formula. Oh yeah, it does a little <laughs> yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but a lot of people are like, oh, I wonder if this was in Jacqueline Hill Hill's contract because she seems to be on board with it. Yeah. Um, and I would say no, because no brand can predict that two years after they release something with a collab, that it's going to be popular popular and yep. sold permanently and still around. So um, I think she was just as proud of it as they were. So, you know, they got together and they were good. Can there we also go. talk something else that's really big about Jaclyn Hill? This is an update, but we're yeah. not doing update videos. Let's... Oh, let's get into it. So she showed the mm. Morphe palette um, and I believe it's coming out on the 22nd of June. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Hang on, I'll get the, I'll get the photos on. June 21st. 21st, close. Yeah. Um, swatches are meant to be coming out. However, they haven't... I don't think they have, have they? No, they're not out no. yet. All right. It is... This is, a, like, this is ridiculous. Can we just put this photo on the screen where it's got the actual palette? So... There was a photo shoot with her lying with the palettes, mm -hmm. and then it's got her at the actual palette versus the cake. Can we just rewind? Can we just do a Jaclyn Hill and fucking? <laughs> she must have bad skid marks for, for backtracking so quickly, mate. Everything she fucking says is like, <gasps> I'm gonna say this, and then in a few months something else is. Do you gonna know what happen. she's doing? Yeah, <laughs> she's putting her foot in her fucking she mouth. She is. She's a fucking idiot. So she was before. We'll find it. She said ages ago that the cake doesn't look anything like the palette. Yeah. It has turned out that it looks pretty much fucking identical, <laughs> which is what we predicted. Yes, it was what we predicted. Yeah. Now she is trying to defend herself on this. And she said the delay had nothing to do with the colours. It had to do with the quantity. And trust me, in person, that cake was not identical. Similar. <laughs> Honey, I fucking hate to... I hate to break it to you, but mm. when you say something is completely different, similar is not good enough. It doesn't cut it. No. You are a liar. You're a fucking liar. You lied. <laughs> Why you can't she just say? Why can't she just say something like, "Okay, if the cake's not your jam, trust me, it looks better in real life." Exactly. Like, don't fucking. And why lie to can't people. you just fucking accept that sometimes people don't people like everything don't you do. like everything? Like, and people are pretty much saying this is the orange palette with four cool yes, colors thrown in. It is. It is. Yeah. So anyway, people are also mega pissed that the price has increased. That's right. So I believe it has gone up to thirty-eight dollars US dollars. US dollars. Yep. And they're usually, I think these palettes are usually like twenty-six or yeah, something like something that. Something like that. Um, now something that Australians Ugh. or international customers are particularly pissed off about is the fact that they have also increased international shipping to a ridiculous amount 62 US dollars that takes the palette 
to over a hundred US dollars. Do you know what that is literally doing? That's Morphe saying we don't have enough stock for international, but instead of cutting off the international people, if you really want it and you're gonna make it worth our while, we'll let, we'll you, have let it. you have it. But otherwise this is pretty much US exclusive and fuck you to the rest of the world. And I reckon that's really fucking bad. It's disgusting, isn't it? Yeah. But people are saying that this is also possibly because Morphe has been 60% of the company has been purchased. It has. For $200 million. Yeah. So, um, people are even speculating that Jacqueline has bought the company. <laughs> so, look, we don't know who oh, it shit, is. That's quite funny. Um, there is a lot more to what's going oh, on with this. Twenty two ninety nine a normal Morphe palette. Okay. 23 bucks. Anyway, it's there a is, huge jack up. The same, it's crazy. Same amount of product. It's, yeah, I don't get it. Oh, I don't fucking, fucking get it. it. They must have paid Jacqueline Hill a lot of money. Now, guys, usually we would talk about this more. However, we We've don't have time on. to do it today. So if you want to know what people are thinking about this collaboration, you can join the Beauty News group. Yeah, and check it out. A whole join thread. in. People are like gathering information from all around the internet globe. Yeah. Uh, it's a great little thread. And we will um, update if anything comes out next week as well. Yes. 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 All right. Next up, we have Chanel's Fall Winter 2017 collection. This is quite nice. Yeah. I'm Usually I look at them and I'm like, why is there a black and a slate gray and a fucking silver and yep. a white in a pop compact? But now I'm like, mm, yeah, I'm a big fan. <laughs> so, I really like this green. Yeah, blue that's what I want. Quote. That's what I want. It's beautiful. So they've got four lipsticks. Mm -hmm. It looks like two minis or different formula? Uh, potentially different formula. Or... Mm, no, they're more forward, I think. But they've got different bases. They do. Anyway. Anyway. So it looks like two lip gloss or some type thing. Um, a couple of those cream eyeshadows. They're minis. Minis. Okay, yep. so two minis, two full. Yeah. Um, two pastel nail polishes, which mm. don't really make sense with this collection. No. Um, a bunch of brow products, mm -hmm. two quads, one looks phenomenal, we'll get there in a second, and then these cream compacts. Yeah. I'm not so sure about a cream compact, but, you know, whatever but floats your boat. It's like got bronzer, blush, and highlighter. Highlight. Yeah. And people are like, why are you putting red? Or is it a lip product? Mm, anyway. I'm not sure. It's interesting. But, oh, blush, highlight, yep. concealer. Oh. 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 Interesting. Okay. You'd get blush and highlight it in your concealer, but you're well, very careful. Yeah. But Christian Stewart is mm -hmm. at it again with the campaign, and a lot of people are like, T too much. You got too much going on. I actually think she looks I really nice. I fucking love it. I um, think it's done really well. Yeah, and if you know me, I'm a big fan. Like, right now, filming this episode, if I had my teal eyeshadow, I would be wearing it in, like, solidarity with her. Um, this kind of dark teal, I'm obsessed with at the moment. Orange lip, lip, I'm obsessed with. I don't usually pair them, but I would. Mm. And if I had it with me traveling, I would put it on for you to demonstrate how it's, awesome it is. It's done really well yeah. to show like how the colors work together. It's yeah, clever. and I think also because they don't have much going on on the face, yeah. it's sort of, and she's wearing just like a flannelette shirt, yeah. essentially. It kind oh, of looks I like cool. It. I love it. Um, Chanel also have brought out a pack of three gel yeah. perfumes and they've got like shimmer in them mm -hmm. um these i think are based on three of their popular perfumes yeah they are and these gels have been brought out before and someone i believe though in the group they were yeah they were saying that they work at a chanel counter and these will sell, sell out. out someone has some from when they've been released individually or in a mm. duo or something and supposedly they're very strong and they last a long time oh wow i think what people are kind of bit iffy about is where you put perfume why do you want glitter yeah, I don't but, get why they put glitter in the formula. It doesn't... No. Okay. I'd get them and use them as lip balm and be like, whoops. Oopsie daisy. All right, there's a brand we don't know how to pronounce. Uh, we'll put on the screen. The... I think it might be Gaelic or yeah, it's something, something like that. Yeah. But they brought out a paleo palette and I believe it sold out. I think it did pretty well. Mm. Um, it looks cool. It looks very... Um, the kind of artwork looks very 
high school or primary school. Yeah. I don't hate it, but it's not no. a dig. It's just a... Yeah. Um, colours are great. You've got a row of, like, cooler stuff where you've got different colours of blues and colour shifty looking things and one, like, sort of dark, I don't know, burgundy or wine. Mm. And then the bottom row is really warm kind of nude shades and then one, like, forest, not a uh, grass green shimmer. Yeah. But the pigmentation on these look fucking neat These bomb. are fantastic. So these were swatched, like, finger swatch, um, swatched with a brush, and then the matte ones were swatched with a brush over a primer, and then um, the silver ones were swatched, or not the silver, sorry. The metallic. Shimmer, metallic ones were then swatched wet. You can see, like, when, you see, yeah, like... when you see these up close, it looks like you pretty much... You, the you results swatch, you get, swatch, yeah, swatch. The s results you get with a finger or with a brush or with a primer are consistent. And this so. is why, like, especially when we judge a palette really quickly or based on swatches, if you've used good eyeshadows, you can tell you from can, a swatch exactly. how good it is. You might not be able to tell how it's going to perform yeah. because often they're different things, but you can tell the pigmentation Absolutely. and um, the evenness of a product based on swatches. And this is a great example of it. So this is kicking goals yeah look at that even that cool side i know i love it it's a great palette Would i wear it often no but i i like it it, it works yeah it's a good palette all right next we have color pop um sneak peeking their new single eyeshadows i believe this is i don't know what collection it's for summer probably um these have a lot of blues and sh like shimmery and matte blues a kind of grassy green that mm -hmm. one looks like it's from the kylie it does. Royal peach palette. Yeah, it really does. And some peachy colours. So if you like blues and peaches, there you go. They're yeah. also showing something else. Yeah, this is a potential upcoming collection with Karuchi Trent. Did I say that correct? I don't know who that is, so maybe. I think they've done a collection with her before and people are wondering if maybe they're going to do another one. All right. Then we've got some CoverGirl new releases. These sort of look like those Maybelline colour shots, what they mm -hmm. called colour shots. Um, or colour jolts. Colour jolts. Yeah. That's what it's called. Um, melting Pout. So liquid lipstick. Yeah. Um, different colours. You've got no nudes. You've just got peachy pinks, reds, bright colours, blue, and a raspberry. Right. Where's the nudes? I don't know. I think they're supposed to be nudes, but they don't look nude. Mm, not very nude. This one looks like it's meant to be. But yeah, I don't think it... it swatched, never... it doesn't look like it no, does. Yeah. No. All right. We've got some e.l.f. palettes, six-pan palettes. There you go. Mm -hmm. Cool mist, island they're breeze. They're meant to be cushion eyeshadows. I Ooh. don't know what that means. I kind of don't care. Soft cushion texture shadow. Eh. $12 each. Yeah. Good affordable. story, bro. Mm hmm. Essie. Yeah. Uh, this is going to be their, I believe it's their summer collection. Maybe spring. I can't remember. Um, six new shades. Cute names. Yep. Yeah. Moving there on. There we go. Ah, uh, Double Wear in Australia. Mm hmm. So, Estee Lauder, Double Wear Foundation. Mm hmm. We're getting a pump. And oh, actually, fuck. sorry, it's not Australia, it's New Zealand. My bad. Oh. But that means if it's coming to New Zealand, there's hope for us, yeah. There's hope for us. Mm -hmm. They're shipping it down, you may as well just bring it exactly. to us as well. Exactly. Uh, a chewed house. We've got some cute cutes. Uh, cute these cutes. are sweet, long lasting, hydrating, clear, fresh, and juicy water tints for the lips in little, like, icy pole. They're cute. They are. They're very, very cute. Hourglass has something called Equilibrium. It is a broad spectrum SPF 30 day fluid. It's a lot of random words. Yeah, words, words. <laughs> All right. So there you go. That's just another thing from Hourglass. Um, day fluid. So it just looks like a sunscreen probably with skincare benefits. Am mm. I right? Probably. Am I right? Just do skincare well or sunscreen well. Yeah. Kathleen Lights is sneak peeking her summer yep. collection with a bunch of black and white. She loves this, doesn't it? She does. She does. It so we've got some cute names. We've got Mia, South Peach, 305. Would that be MIA? 
Missing in Action. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Magic City, South Peach, 305, Ocean Drive. What is that? Porter? Porter Mami? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. We know, like, we have learnt the hard way that oh, she likes she releases to... one a week. Yeah. Oh, my she God. releases one a week, and she also likes to name them things <sighs> that I'm too old to understand. Or that so. we're not followers of her, so we don't understand. Yeah. But I... <sighs> Maybe we'll have to make a thing where we just wait until like, they're all released. Before... I think so. I like. I don't want to be talking about this for the next six weeks. Oh, it fucking annoyed me. It's fucking yeah. It's annoying. It'd be like release a sneak peek of the shade, and then there'd be a photo in the updates of her wearing it, and then every fucking week. Just... Yeah, I think we should just collect it until it's done. Yeah. All right. Kat Von D have some new stuff. They're showing the new everlasting liquid lipstick. Shades, there's three greys. So Dagger, Mm -hmm. um, which is sort of like a bluey mid-tone grey. Wolf, which is a much darker one, almost a navy. Then we have Zero, which is a lot lighter and probably more true grey. Kat Von D also an update on the Glimmer palette. Mm -hmm. Um, So a lot of people... Still, we're believing that the marketing photo is going to be it because they've tried Kat Von D shadows and they're really intense. And we get it. They actually. Mm, they, we're not going to get into this. Like we, <laughs> we between us, we probably have most of her palettes. Yeah. Bar the maybe pastel one. Yeah, I didn't buy that. But every other but, palette we yeah. pretty much have, so yeah. we know a formula. Um, this photo is a swatch photo, and I think it's a lot more accurate. And what we were saying in the last video. Um, or the last time we mentioned this, essentially was that, yes, we get that it's probably going to be a lot more shimmery okay. than and probably more colourful than the sneak peek that we originally saw, but at the same time, those are vibrant reds and oranges, it's not going to happen, and here you go, brown, 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 black, brown, 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 brown. And that's essentially, this is what it's going to look like. So compared to that marketing photo, this is pretty drab, mm-hmm. um, but a but lot if, of people are going to love it. If anyone is surprised that it's drab, like, what the fuck did you expect? She said it was going to be Shade and Light Glimmer Palette. Yeah. Shade and Light There's, Eye. Like, we yeah, know what it looks like. They don't have any oranges no, and reds in there. No. They've got just warmer that's nudes. Exactly. So, that's it. Yeah. There we have it. Apparently, Kat Von D is also bringing out 20 new liquid lipsticks in 2018. Yeah. Wow. Um... Someone asked Kylie Jenner if they're going to do a collaboration with Courtney, and she made that a face. little slight and face. Oh. Yeah, we get it. Cool. Um, L'Oreal have released pure clay, or are releasing pure clay cleansers um, that kind of match with their clay masks. Yep. Um, interesting. I've seen a few brands bring out clay cleansers recently. I think mm-hmm. that's the next. Skincare trend. Next big thing. The next clay. Skincare, yeah, clay cleanser. Yeah. All right, Laura Mercier uh, talking about launching a new foundation. This is the Flawless Ultra Longwear Foundation. So I think it's supposed to be decent coverage and long wearing. So I am keen. Mm-hmm. Keen as a bean. Oh, keen beans. All right, then we've got new Lime Crime. They're sneak peeking um, a bunch of mermaid related products. So we have aquarium brushes, which we've got closer up photos of. Mm. They've got glitter and water in the handle. Yep. Um, and then we've got a new highlight palette, the Mermaids one. So it's the third one they're releasing. And then they've got three uh, metallic liquid lipsticks. Um, so they're the Velveteens, Mermaids Grotto, Siren, and Seashell Bra. Mm-hmm. Um, now, someone did point out that these brushes look like ones that you can get online really really cheap yeah um so nothing special there but i kind of don't mind the highlighter collection if the probably the formula was better i'd be into it Mm. all right this is probably the next big news that snuck up really quickly um Lorac have released a Beauty and the Beast collection similar to their Pirates of the Caribbean one they're really hitting up those movies yeah um we watched this on the plane actually yeah we did. We did. We did indeed. Um, it's just, I feel like, good on you, Lorac, for, you know, making the, the movie palettes. Yeah, but, I quite um, like mo- the idea of movie palettes. So do I. I just wish they'd fucking do them well. And also ship them internationally. internationally. Um, anyway, Tati had the exclusive sneak peek. She's quite friendly with Carol from mm-hmm. Lorac and... 
she got to test out all the eyeshadows and everything and do a video before oh, and release it on release date. So this yep. is already out. As in like the products the are already products available. Out. Yep. Um, so the here are swatches of the eyeshadows. They look nice. What she said was that they are better than the pro formula. Like they're smooth and they have the pigmentation, but they're not as fallouty. I don't trust her swatches here. I don't, I, they're definitely layered, mm -hmm. but I don't not trust her swatches. I don't know. I think, I honestly think that she, okay, she might have layered them to get like maybe a more even application, yeah. but she she did a look using them yeah. in the video. Yeah, and it, she did. It's, it's, they're not bad. They're just bland colors. Yeah, they are very bland colors. I don't, I don't like the row of pinks. No, neither do I. Anyway, she was raving about the lipstick collection. Raving. And so much so that she made me want to get it. So there's a pack of five lipsticks. You can also get a pack of matching lip glosses. Mm -hmm. And they come separately. But she was a bit eh on the lip glosses, but was gung-ho on about the amazingness the of the lipsticks. Yeah. Um, she was also a bit meh with this blush palette. Mm -hmm. um, because, yeah, she just didn't like the shades, but they were fine. Mm -hmm. um, but you can see prices here. Eyeshadow palette, $48. Cheek palette, 28 Lipstick collection, 36 Lip gloss collection, 34 If I was able to get these, I would be getting the lipstick collection. But they don't ship internationally. Fuck you, Lorac. Um, yeah. uh, Makeup by Mario has joined uh, Laura Mercier as one of the collective members of the makeup artistry team. Which means um, I don't think we will see a collaboration product. I think we will see potentially uh, either him working to, you know, create looks on the models mm -hmm. with new releases, or he may have some input into new product development. If he does, he's going to bring out trendier stuff because they're yes. pretty stale. Yes. A stale brand. You know what? I reckon if Laura Mercier was bringing out a bit more trendy stuff, that'd be kicking. They nose. would fucking dominate. I agree because because they their, have... their attempt at contour palettes and highlight palettes have been woeful. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. But they make fucking Great bang makeup. on quality bang makeup, on quality products. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I agree. That's All right. Exciting. Can we talk about this abomination? Yeah. Quickly? We. Guys, we can't really get into this too much because we are running out of time. Mm. Um, Model Co. has come out to let everyone know that uh, they'll be collaborating with um, Carl, Carl Lagerfeld. Lagerfeld. Now, if you don't know who Carl, La Carl Lagerfeld is, he, um, he does designing for, I believe, Chanel. I don't know, or whatever it is. But yeah, anyway, he's big he does, in, the, in yeah. the fashion industry. Two huge fashion houses he works for. And he must have been paid so, so much, much money, money. Because this is a shit brand, oh, this in is, my opinion. This is, yeah, it, in my opinion my is opinion, the same. I don't I, like it at all. Yeah, um, I feel like from everything that I've used, I feel like their packaging is cheap and the quality of their products it does not match their price price point in my yeah, opinion agreed um but also they tried to pair up with Haley baldwin mm -hmm. to make a collection that collection was picked up in a higher end store mecca in australia <laughs> but then was released in priceline because it didn't sell i don't yeah. think that I think this is a bad move for him and it's just a cash grab. It is. He's like, this is goes to my retirement fund. Yeah. So basically they're saying that the brand first caught the eye of Karl Lagerfeld with their long history of first to market innovations and no. other successful celebrity collaborations. Bullshit. They're um, blowing smoke up their own Yeah, asses. they are. And they said they're launching an entirely new model co range that will be sold in the world's biggest retailers globally in 2018 and the collaboration with Carl is the first step in our global beauty domination. We wish you luck. Uh, it's going to be limited edition. 
The theme is Illuminated Beauty and will feature smart, modern, iconic beauty products launching in early 2018. The range will feature innovative and collectible beauty products and will be available globally through stores and will be hugely prolific online. <clears throat> How do you make smart, modern, iconic beauty products yeah. but then have them be innovative and collectible at the same time? Like, come on. They're just fucking they're, come on. They and you know what, guys? Tickets on themselves. Carl said it best. If you are cheap, nothing helps. <laughs> they should put okay. that on the packaging. Yeah, they fucking should. <laughs> anyway, let's quickly move on to um, Models Prefer, which is an Australian brand. They're getting. They're not as bad. They're no. actually quite good. They're actually, yeah, yeah. they're actually not bad. <laughs> um, I quite like them, actually. Yeah, so do um, I. And they got a good price point for what they, they do. are. They do. And their packaging isn't cheap crap. And their products, although sometimes they hit and miss, they fucking feel like they try at yeah. least. Yeah. Okay. So they're releasing a more Korean-inspired range. They are. So this is called K-Beauty. Mm-hmm. Um, so this is going to... So it's supposed to be like youthful, fresh, flat-faced, mm-hmm. blah, 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 peel off lip tattoos. So that's very Korean. Yeah. Um, lip stain pens, brow wand, highlighter sticks, blush, uh, cushion blush. Okay, cool. So that's what they're releasing. Kind of looks cute. Mm. And at least they're being... They're... <laughs> <laughs> Fun's happening downstairs. Oh, when is this drying? Oh. Stop it. Um, yeah, at least they, like, they realise that korean inspired or korean makeup trends are starting to inspire the world yeah and it's good to see that they're on the ball mm-hmm. all right maybelline are releasing a super stay eraser so essentially this is a lipstick color remover so if you're wearing long wearing lipsticks this would just be an oil stick mm-hmm. and you just use it might even have an exfoliating thing in it maybe, maybe yeah that'd be kind of cool and you just it helps you remove makeup mm-hmm. I, I don't hate it all right so this nars is a sneak peek of their summer collection so we've spoken about their spring collection um more people are interested in this this mm. is a highlight and contour palette uh, we do know that our our intern really wants this Mm -hmm. um so the shades you've got um they're all down here okay so the bronzers are existing surprise Mm. surprise we've got laguna and casino and then we have a few what are the permanent ones here there's are Um, they all new you know what i don't actually recognize any of those highlighting shades yeah i think that the highlighters are all new yeah interesting interesting we've got um some news from Too Faced. In fall 2017, they're bringing out the Glitter You Mean It. What? Glitter Like You Mean It collection. Uh, available June 15th. And it will include six brand new shades of the Born This Way Foundation and Born This Way Concealer. Oh, can we quickly go into that? That The Born... Oh, the Glitter Like You Mean It is pretty much, I think, them trying to package the Glitter Bomb... Yeah. With the glitter glue. Oh, okay. Um, and I've got some swatches in here from people that have shared photos because they bought them at the, the preview sale or mm-hmm. whatever it's called. Um, and some people are saying, like one person was saying that she's going to return it. Yeah. Because she doesn't like it and it's a really lot of glitter fallout. A mm-hmm. lot of people saying it looks really just shimmery, like not glitter, but just a standard shimmery eyeshadow. Mm-hmm. But someone did put up a photo of a comparison um, between the Moon Dust moon Palette dust, yeah. from Urban Decay, and they have a very similar formula. Yeah. Um, so I don't know, though. Like, none of the other swatches I've seen of the Glitter Bomb Palette look like that. Yeah, but maybe they didn't build it up enough. Maybe. But also, it's hard, though, because this type of glitter is a little bit hard to show in photos. Yeah. I still find that, that th- there are some photos. I'll have to take screenshots so we can yeah. edit them in, but... There were some where even people were swatching it over the white base and it just looked really shit. So yeah. I do know I do know a lot of people are disappointed in it. Yeah. Okay, we gotta fucking hustle. Yeah, we man. gotta Alright, All right, we're gonna smash through this. Um long con, we've got another photo of the Olympia Latan. Um, you can see what the products are. Shake juicy shaker, mini liner. We've um, got new brushes from Real Techniques. Yep. We don't know when they're coming. Um they look very Wayne Goss esque. Um does or... it have a blue handle? Uh, yeah, actually, kind of looks like they do. Yes. Ombre. So this looks like a fancy, more modern version of their um, 
gold medals. Mm -hmm. We've finally seen what Gwen Stefani's up to with Revlon. Essentially, it is the Ultra HD lip colours, but it's a metallic version and some weird colours, blue, purple, grey, etc. This is not very her. I don't get it. Yeah, I don't don't get it. I don't get it. Um, it. Then we've got some stuff with Tarte. So they've got some inspirational palettes coming. Mm -hmm. This one on the screen is the... Uh, um, Dream Big. Dream Big palette. Yeah. I don't mind it. I don't and mind it. And then we've got the Make Magic Happen palette. Which looks a lot more boring. It does. It does. Um, but they swatch nicely. Tarte shadows are quite nice quality. Mm-hmm. So that's that. And then there's also some liner, liner. that's coming out. With a little cat <laughs> on the top. No! <laughs> I tried to hold that for as long oh, as I oh, could. Spaghetti. Look. I know. It's cute, isn't it? Yeah, it's super cute. So, is that it? Um, we've oh. got a palette from the Balm, which is... Mm, we're not we're not even getting into this. Uh, they've got, is that a new mascara called yeah, Scuba? Yeah, so they've got the Scuba mascara and then they've got the Nude Beach palette. Yeah. All right, we had to have a camera change because mine was overheating. Oh. Anyway, this Nude Beach palette is, I think, the third from the Nude range. This one's a lot warmer. It's more on trend. Raspberries, burnt oranges, you know, mm. all that kind of stuff. It looks pretty. Um, Jared is sneak peeking something gold. I think it's probably to do with that gold goop. Yeah, fucking moving mm. right along. Moving on. And we've got an update, some more photos of the Becca long name things. Yes, they were liquid, lip, crystal, fucking, I don't know. Something, Topper, something, 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 something. And the matching highlighters. Yeah. Um, they look pretty. Yeah. We've got swatches of the highlighters. With the funny they names. They look pretty. Um, with the funny names. And the glosses. They, they look pretty, but... They do. They're look, on trend. You but... know what? I'll say I like the look of the highlighters. I'm not into the glosses. Oh, and to confirm, I looked into it. I think they're one gram smaller than the original highlighters. Okay. So a little bit smaller, but not heaps smaller. Great. All right, we've got to get going. We've got to go. We literally oh have to get out of here we in 10 minutes. We have to get so. out of this house in less than 10 minutes. Yeah. Five minutes. Fuck. Hooray. Okay. Goodbye See ya. from Japan, guys. Mm-hmm. No emoji. No Sorry. emoji. No emoji. Major you make one up. Sushi. Sushi. <laughs> yeah. Bye.